Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back with another video to today. And yeah, I have another instant premiere. So, um, did this last night with the uh, Astros, um, Astros trade deadline predictions, and it worked pretty well. So, I'm gonna try it again. I thought that a Damian Lillard Rockets possible trade was a good video to do an instant premiere. So, let's get started. Everybody who is um live on the or uh, on the instant premiere um uh great and uh anybody who watches it later on as a video um yeah um so here to talk about Damian Lillard possible rockets trades um so you know a lot of teams are interested in Damian Lillard um Damian Lillard wants to stay in Portland if that is true um rockets are uh, among interested in Dame, along with teams like the Lakers and the Knicks and, you know, a couple other teams you can mention, um, the Sixers, the Celtics, you know, a couple teams, maybe one or two more teams besides that. I heard the Kings, but I doubt it. Um, Woody, well, you'd probably have to offer your lottery pick, Marvin Bagley, um, like Harrison Barnes, Buddy Heald, and like more first round picks. Um, if that will do it, I don't think it would. So I take the Kings out. Um, but what do the Rockets have to offer? So the Rockets are very, the reports are Rockets are very aggressive to get Dame. I have a couple deals that the Rockets can make um, to get Damian Lillard superstar this would change the Rockets you get Dame you're not rebuilding anymore you are a decent playoff team maybe playing team maybe six to five seed if you have Damian Lillard um and Christian Wood so um because most likely Christian Wood would stay on, on the Rockets if you get Dame would not probably have to get traded so let's get started so I have two proposing trades that the Rockets could do with the Portland Trailblazers. And the first one is, um, so this is this is the one where the Rockets would have to give up the least amount of death. Um, so the Rockets would give up Daniel House, uh, sorry, Daniel House, DJ Augustine, the 23rd overall pick, five more first round picks. So so in total six first round picks, one is the 23rd pick and then five future first round picks. Um and Kevin Porter Jr. and John Wall. So and the Rockets would receive Damian Lillard and Robert Covington. Um you know, you get Robert Covington a good defensive small forward, so that's power forward, someone who's familiar in the Rockets. I would totally welcome back Rocco. I love the idea of Rocco and Christian Wood playing alongside Dame and potentially that second overall pick in just Sean Tate. Um, that is a great lineup. Damian Lillard, Jalen Green, just Sean Tate, Robert Covington, um, maybe vice versa, Deshaun Tate three. Uh, I mean, vice versa, Covington three, um, Deshaun Tate four, but mo most likely not. Um, in five, Christian Wood. That is a playoff team lining up for sure. Um, so, yeah. In the next trade... Wait, so sorry. Actually, I got that deal wrong. Um, so it's not it's not uh, five first-round picks. It's, it's seven future first-round picks. So it would be eight first-round picks. Or, no, seven first-round picks. Um... With Daniel House, DJ Augustine, KPJ, John Wall. So, f four players in John Wall, KPJ, Daniel House, um, and DJ Augustine. Um, and um, and seven first-round picks. Um, some of those are Brooklyn picks. I think some might be Heat picks, Milwaukee picks. You know, you got a vi variety of picks in that deal. And here is the second deal that the Rockets could land Dame. So same thing. Rockets would receive... This one is a little bit different. Rockets receive Damian Lillard, uh, Robert Covington, and Nasir Little. Um, so the Rockets do get Nasir Little in this trade. I don't think that means a big difference. 
But again, the Blazers would receive um, the Blazers would receive the uh, Daniel House, DJ Augustine, uh, and twenty third pick. Still, um, the Blazers this time would receive five first round picks. I kind of got the first round pick uh, thing confused. This one is five, and I thought the the one before there was five, but uh, the first one is seven first round picks. This one is five, so. Five first round picks. Um, five first round picks. Um, the the uh, John Wall and Kevin Porter Jr. still, and the second overall pick. Um, and that's it. So yeah, in this one, I don't really like this because the Rockets have to. Um, the Rockets have to give up the second overall pick, which most likely in a Damian Lillard trade you have to, unless you want to say screw it and give them all your first round picks, which I would possibly be down to. You know, it's not going to be all your first round picks, but most of them. Um, and maybe looking from an area of six to eight first round picks, um, with your one of your future guys in KPJ, John Wall. Who cares? Daniel House, who cares? DJ Augustine, who cares? Um, and then this would just mean a game changer for the Houston Rockets in a lineup of Dame, Jalen Green. So Dame, Jalen Green, Deshante, Robert Covington, and Christian Wood. I just love this idea as a lineup for the Houston Rockets. It's just absolutely amazing. Um, and yeah, um, let me know what you think about this potentially idea to tr for to trade for Dame, you know, I also probably want to take out the Lakers as well in this trade idea. Um, I I really like the Rockets as a top four, um, a top four landing spot for Dame. You know, I like I like the Seventy Sixers. I like him in a Seventy Sixers uniform. But really, are the Seventy Sixers really going to be able to land Dame? Yeah, the Blazers front office they're stupid. But they're not stupid enough to they're not they're not that stupid to take Dame for Ben Simmons. I mean, any any all thirty two teams would rather have this would rather have seven first round picks, Kevin Porter Jr., John Wall, Daniel House, and DJ Augustine than frickin' Ben Simmons. Ever all thirty two teams, all thirty two teams would rather have that than Ben Simmons and like my my Chiefs the Bowl. Um. But, yeah, uh, what do you think about – tell me, let me know what you think about what this lineup would look like for the Rockets. Yeah, if you if you got this lineup of Dame, Green, Tate, Rocco, and Wood, um, bringing Rocco back in Houston, the, I think this is like a – for sure, like a – if Dame is healthy and Christian Wood is healthy, this is like a – I have this like at a at a seven to five seed in the in the West, um, a seven to five seed I believe probably, um, and because if Damon and C Wood are healthy, um, then you are just looking at, I think one of the best point guard center one of the best guard center duos in this NBA in the NBA right now, um, if this trade were to happen, um. Also, if you have to, you have, if you have to think about it, if you trade for Dame and Eric Gordon is not included in this deal, Eric Gordon would stay as a Rocket. Think about it. Eric Gordon would stay as a Rocket because you are in win competitive. You're in, you're in, you're you're competitive again. You will have free agents wanting to come because. Who the hell does not want to play with Damian Lillard, one of the best players in the NBA? I have him fifth best. Uh, I think he's the fifth best player in the NBA. You know, I, I think a lot of people would say that's crazy because a lot of people have him from 10 to 7, uh, the 10 best players in the NBA, but I have him at 5. Um, Dame is a game changer. There would, If we trade for him... Before free agency, there will be free agents coming to Houston wanting to be in Houston because it's freaking Damian Lillard. Um, not only that, but you'd keep Eric Gordon. You would not trade EG because EG 
if you have Damian Lillard and Christian Wood, there's no need to trade Eric Gordon because you are a winning team again. Um, but does this deal really happen? Maybe. I don't really think so. I don't even really think that Dame will get traded. But if he does, I like Houston being a uh, uh, a top favorite. I don't like the. I don't think the Lakers will have ha- have the stuff to get Dame. I don't think they have the depth to get Dame. Um, neither do I think the Knicks do. Neither do I think the Sixers do. I think the Rockets truly do might have the best to offer for Dame, but I don't think the Blazers are looking to take a deal here. And but if they are, I think I like the Rockets here. I seriously do. You look at it. I look at it. Maybe two weeks ago, I would have said hell no. But now I look at. It, I say maybe, um, and I would. I would be down. I would maybe be a little upset if we gave up the second, uh, the f- the second overall pick, but that's probably to be expected uh, when getting Damian Lillard. But that's it for the uh, video. Um, hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about a potential Dame and Rockets trade. Um, and peace out, go Rockets.